How's it going everyone? Before we get to the video, I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on notifications to get notified whenever I drop a video. We're getting closer to 1,000 subscribers every day and I'd really appreciate it if you helped get the channel there. Thank you. But anyway, today we're going to go over recent Laker news involving Rajon Rondo getting injured and who will be expected to step up while he is hurt. J.R. Smith and the NBA revoking his Instagram privileges. No, really, they actually did. And we'll go over the light Damian Lillard trade rumors that have come out about him being rumored to only want to be traded to LA or New York if Portland decides and try to rebuild after this year. But beginning with the most important news to the team being Rondo getting injured by breaking his hand and reportedly expected to miss six to eight weeks. With this timeline, he'd be expected to be back around the second round of the playoffs, but would of course miss all of the upcoming exhibition games and final regular season games. But with Rondo getting hurt, how does it really affect the team? Well, for one, LeBron is going to be depended on as a playmaker even more now since he is now the only player on the team with significant point guard experience. Along with that, Alex Caruso and Quinn Cook will both be given more minutes, and this is an opportunity for both of them to show that if they are capable at manning point guard while LeBron is on the bench for a little while. I think now that Rondo is out, we'll see a bench lineup come in that includes Alex Caruso, Dion Waiters, Kyle Kuzma, Markeith Morris, and Dwight Howard. I think Caruso and Quinn Cook will rotate minutes though as well, and J.R. Smith will get brought in too. We'll also see a lineup looking like Quinn Cook, Dion Waiters, J.R. Smith, Kuzma, and then either Dwight or Markeith Morris at center if they want to go small ball. Even though they've lost both Rondo and Avery Bradley now, the team still has pretty good depth. And to be completely honest, I don't think losing Rondo for the regular season games will make that much of a difference. You could kind of tell Rondo had been saving his energy for the playoffs, especially on the defensive end, and I believe guys like Caruso and Quinn Cook are more than capable of filling Rondo's role if Rondo was planning on coasting to the playoffs anyway. Although I do think missing Rondo in the early part of the playoffs may be where it starts to show how important he can be to the team. Rondo has a lot of playoff experience and is one of the few guys in NBA history who has better stats in every category in the playoffs compared to the regular season. Rondo is disappointing during the regular season, but if he really does turn it on when the playoffs come around, he could be very valuable. A rejuvenated Rondo that gives full effort on defense while being able to control the offense is very hard to play against. We can't forget only a few years ago in the playoffs when he took that Chicago Bulls team up 2-0 in the playoffs against the number one seeded Celtics, then after he got hurt the Bulls never won a game. Overall, I do think Rondo getting hurt is a blow to the team, but I don't think it will be that big of a problem until the playoffs come around. And thankfully, it at least happened now so Caruso and Quinn Cook have a little time to adjust to playing more at point guard when LeBron goes to the bench. Alright, now on to JR getting his Instagram privileges revoked in the middle of his live session. The fact that this is actually real is pretty funny, but I wasn't really surprised considering that it's JR. The NBA told him to quit revealing so much about the bubble and to quit informing the public about the processes that go on inside it. He's not really in trouble and there's really no good or bad to this situation. I just wanted to bring it up briefly because I thought it was pretty funny to see JR already getting in trouble with the NBA less than 48 hours into the bubble. Long live Henny God Smith. But anyways, now we'll touch a bit on the Damian Lillard trade rumors that have been going around the past week. I wasn't going to talk about this, but the rumors actually gained a lot more traction than I thought they would and had a lot of media talking about it. The rumors say that Lillard has a preference to only being traded to LA or New York if Portland decides to start rebuilding the team after this year. While I wouldn't doubt if Portland decides to rebuild next year a little bit if they don't make the playoffs, I really just can't picture Lillard being traded. He has come out multiple times telling everyone that he doesn't want to be traded and that he'd rather win in Portland or not win at all. Lillard is actually only 29 yet and if Portland was smart, they tried to do a quick rebuild by trading McCollum and adding a couple different guys around Lillard to see if that can improve their team. And I really can't imagine anyone wanting to get traded to the Knicks, and I, while I could see a player wanting to get traded to the Lakers or Clippers, I don't see Lillard being that guy. The Lakers unfortunately don't have the pieces to trade for him, even if he truly did want to be traded there, and neither do the Clippers either after giving up a ton of draft picks to get Paul George. For the Lakers to acquire a guy like Lillard, it would take a third team to get involved, and would still require the Laker team to trade every asset they have. And while I love Damian Lillard as a player, I don't see much truth to this rumor at all. And along with that, I like the no super teams in the, in the NBA anymore, and if the Laker team were to somehow actually get Lillard, they would definitely be a super team. 
But I think most all of this is mostly only widespread fan rumor and the only thing that might have a little truth behind it is that Portland may be planning to rebuild after this year if the team doesn't make any noise in the playoffs or even get there. Anyways, what do you guys think about these rumors? What do you think about the likelihood that Lillard gets traded anywhere within the next year? Also, how do you guys feel about Rondo getting hurt and Quinn Cook and Caruso likely getting more playing time? Let me know what you think about all this by commenting down below and I'll talk to you about it there. And again, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching the video.